What's up fam? My name is Brandon Duff and I'm gonna give you my smart money tactics right now. And if you stick to the end of this, I will actually give you my three free passive income streams completely for free. If you comment and like, well, you'll actually get it at the end of this video. But um, yeah, just comment, like, share, and please subscribe because it really makes me want to continue to provide value to you guys. And I hope that you comment and tell me what you want to listen to so that I can keep providing content that you guys want to listen to. This does nothing for me. It's just, I like to help other, and my goal is to actually help 1 million people become financially independent so that they don't have to work until they're 65 or 67 or 70. That sounds miserable. I'd rather live my life and do whatever I want, collecting passive streams of income, which I do, and do whatever I want. So. Let's break it down right now. Number one, renting is expensive. Owning a house is expensive. So you need a way to reduce that expense. There are multiple ways you can do that. I'll give you three. Number one, you could house hack. So what that is, is you buy a house, you rent out the other uh, rooms. So like say you buy a two bedroom or a three bedroom, you rent out the two bedroom or the, the third bedroom and offset your mortgage. That is probably the best way to do it. Number two, you could date someone who is in property management. Easy enough. You um, get a discount. You live pretty much cheap because you don't have to pay for certain like fees. You don't have to pay as much in rent. Um, you don't have to, you know, all these things, I guess, because your wife's a property manager, your husband's a property manager, or your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. That's great. I mean, that's an awesome way to do it. That's what I did. My wife is awesome. Number three, you could rent and then rent with someone else, like have a uh, roommate in a apartment if you can't afford to buy a house and offset your rent. So those are three ways you can do that. Second way, Reduce your expenses in your car. Your car is expensive. You have to drive only to point A to point B typically. Um, you're not a race car driver, so you're not going around in circles. So you might, not like I am right now, but you might as well get a cheap ass car that is good on gas mileage. I own a Prius. I um, use it to nothing actually. I don't drive anywhere because I live at home or I live, I work from home. So I pretty much don't need to go anywhere. But what you can do is when you do work from home, you can rent out your car. I rent my car out and make money, passive income. I make about $400 a month on renting my car out passively. I don't have to do anything. I'm not driving for Uber. That sounds miserable. Um, I'm not trading time for money. I'm just getting a nice little paycheck every week because I rent out my car. Boom. You can check the show notes on how or the comments or whatever on how you can do that and uh, I will send you a link. And that doesn't even include one of the passive streams of income. It might, I don't know. You might wanna check out the link at the end of the show. Number three, work from home. If you work from home, you don't have to pay for gas. Your insurance goes down. Um, you don't have to buy fancy clothes or uh, have a fancy car or spend time with people you don't care for. You can just dress like this all day, like sweats, sandals, and just walk around and talk on YouTube or on uh, Facebook or Instagram or whatever platform and spread love and tell people how to make money from home. What else could you do? I mean, that was three ways to uh, do that. Um, I guess let's keep going. Number four, pay debts down as quickly as possible. That are your biggest expenses. But mind you, if they are super big, like for instance, say you have a mortgage versus a, um, a large credit card. Like your mortgage is a low uh, interest rate, but your credit card is gonna be a high interest rate. Try and pay off your, your, uh, your expenses that reduce your cash flow each month that you can pay off quickly. So like a lot of people call 
uh, in a snowball effect where you actually pay off your uh, little expenses first. But if there's little expenses and they're not really affecting your cash flow, for instance, say you have like a a thousand dollar credit uh, card and it's seven dollars a month or thirty dollars a month, um, that really might not be worth paying off versus something that's like three thousand dollars and now you're paying one hundred and twenty or one hundred and fifty dollars a month. You might want to pay that off first so that you can start rolling in the extra cash flow into those um, other property or not other properties but other expenses. I uh, I know for me, like I refinanced my house and pulled out all the equity of one of my rental properties and to purchase another one. And I used that equity to pay off my car, to pay off my Peloton and to pay off my TV because I wanted the extra cash flow. Sure, I could have bought another rental property or used that money into uh, the actual rental property that I bought to decrease my uh, mortgage. But in the grand scheme of things, one, my tenants are paying that, and two, um, that would have negatively reduced my, or kept my uh, cash flow more expensive. So I decided to reduce my uh, liabilities and pay off all the, the expense, uh, what am I thinking of? I guess expenses each month so that I can have enough cash flow coming in. So those are my smart money hacks. Um, start using them and become a millionaire because you owe it to yourself and your family and your friends to start making a lot of money so that you can actually start helping other people make a lot of money. I noticed that when people are uh, financially wealthy, they start turning outward and helping others become and do the same thing. So uh, those are my money hacks. Check out the links below and get your free, three free passive streams of income from my website, themoneyfriends.com. Peace.